What's up, everybody? Welcome to a new English bit. I'm Gadia. If you are a quiz lover, you are highly likely to enjoy today's lesson. I've selected 11 advanced collocations, and I think knowing them can come in handy. Are you ready? If so, let's get going. Before we start, what is a collocation? A collocation is a combination of words that are often used together. For example, to make sense, to join forces, or to keep something in check. So as usual, there will be 11 questions with two options, A and B. Choose the correct option and write it down. And then in the second part of the lesson, I'm gonna give you the correct answers. So grab a pen and a piece of paper and break a leg. The first sentence, I'm not surprised he didn't win the election. He never A held or B stood a chance. Choose A or B and super important, write it down. Number two, she A caught, B took, exception to her comment. This collocation has two meanings. The first one is to be offended or made angry by something or someone. And the second one is to strongly disagree with something or someone. Number three, he's working hard to A, make, B, do, a go of his new business. This collocation means to succeed in doing something, usually, by working hard. So choose to make or to do. Number four, his new car A catches or calls everybody's eye. So the same, pick A or B and write it down. Number five, I'm sure all your hard work will A bear or B give fruit. What do you think? A or B? Number six, leather pants have A made, B done, a comeback. It means to become popular again after being unpopular for a long time. So the same, choose the correct collocation. Number seven, I hope everybody who committed war crimes in Ukraine will A sit or B stand trial. It means to be judged for a crime in a court of law. So the same, choose the correct collocation and write it down. Number eight, the world must A, make B, do its utmost to help Ukrainians kick out the aggressor. Here we've got a C1 phrase verb, to kick someone out. It means to force someone to leave a place. Number nine, I hope Russians will manage to a. Bring. B. Take. The dictatorship to an end. Choose A or B. And, as usual, write it down. Number 10. He. A. Did. B. Made. An exception. And let us enter the building. Choose the correct verb. To do an exception or to make an exception. What do you think? And last but not least, number 11, thanks for helping them out. You've A done, B made, a good deed. A good deed means a charitable act. So what do you think? Is it to do or to make a good deed? And guys, before we continue, just a super quick reminder. If you like English bits, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And if you like today's lesson, please don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up. Thank you for being a part of English Vets. And now it's time to find out your score. The first question, the correct answer is B. If it's correct, don't forget to put a tick. So the collocation is to stand a chance. According to the Cambridge Dictionary, the level of this collocation is C2, and it means to have a chance of success. I'm gonna give you one more sample sentence. We never stood a chance. 
which means we were never meant to be together. Number two, the correct option is B, and the collocation is to take, exception, and you can use two prepositions, to or at, someone or something. It doesn't mean to make an exception. It has two meanings. The first one is to feel offended, upset, angry, or annoyed. And the second one is to strongly disagree with someone or something. Two simple sentences here. The first one, I didn't take exception to what he said. And the second one, I take exception to people who think the world revolves around them. Number three, the correct answer is A, to make a go of something. It means to succeed in doing something, usually by working hard. One simple sentence here, he didn't manage to make a go of acting. Number four, the correct option is A, to catch someone's eye. It means to be attractive and different enough to be noticed by someone. For example, we could go to a cafe that caught my eye on the way here. Number five, A. If it's correct, put it in. To bear fruit. It means to produce successful results. One simple sentence, his efforts bore fruit and he passed the public exam. Number six, the correct option is A. To make a comeback. It means to become popular again after being unpopular for a long time. For example, the band is trying to make a comeback with their new album. Number seven, the correct option is B, to stand trial. It means to be put on trial in a law court. One simple sentence, he got his comeuppance and stood trial. Number eight, the correct option is B, to do your utmost. It means to do something as well as you can by making a great effort. It's like to do your best. One simple sentence, Vladimir Zelensky is doing his utmost to defend Ukraine. Number nine, the correct option is A, to bring something to an end. It means to make something finish. One simple sentence, the war must be brought to an end. Number 10, B, to make an exception. It means to not treat someone or something according to the general rules. For example, nobody is allowed to smoke in here and I will make no exception. And last but not least, number 11, the correct option is A and it's to do a good deed. This collocation is not marked as C1 or C2 by the Cambridge Dictionary, but I do think it's advanced. And it means to do something good or helpful for someone or the society. And there is also an expression, your good deed for the day. And the last simple sentence, lots of people are doing good deeds by helping Ukrainians. So guys, that's it for today. I really hope you enjoyed today's quiz and learned something new. And please share your score with me in the comments down below. And of course, if you liked today's English bit, please don't forget to hit the like button, to subscribe to my channel, and remember that you can catch me on Instagram, where I teach English every day. Thank you for watching today's lesson, and see you next Wednesday with a short, and then next Sunday with a long lesson. Thank you for joining me today. Have a nice Sunday and see you soon. Ciao for now.